I've always been like very interested in martial arts and, and kind of fighting in that area and um, but my dad wouldn't let me do uh, I wanted to do karate when I was younger hmm. but he, he I was very uh, like an um, unpatient child I had a hard time sitting still and, and very impatient and stuff like that and I like to just be out moving just constantly doing something and I had a yeah very hard time staying still so he he thought like I wouldn't kind of fit in the karate right away and, and I needed something a bit more a bit more contact and like a bit more action because karate is a lot about like discipline and standing in lines and stuff and maybe is what I needed but I was not just quite ready for that I think and so I started off uh, ice hockey and I really liked hockey actually it's one of my favorite sports and I probably would have stayed and done it a little bit longer if um, kind of like a lot of my friends stopped doing it as well and, and then you know it was about the time when you're starting to you know realize girls and get into all that kind of stuff and, and so I kind of fell out as well and and then after that I started doing karate and then I was yeah 14 I'd say mm. and my dad couldn't have been more right because I, I, I hated or like I did not like a lot of it you know like standing still doing katas and, and fixed movements and for a long time I just oh my god I, I it was so boring and, and I know like some part, parts of it is, is good and it, it helps you and uh, it's important for it to get like um, good basics and, and learn the movements and all but I just I had a really hard time with you know doing that all the time and so I kind of joined the kumite side of it and I, I i started doing as much kumite as i could which is um the point sparring mm -hmm. so when you're actually you know one-on-one -on -one trying to catch them you know like live training and mm -hmm. um and i did that I, I got into the national team and i pretty much trained kumite only kumite like none of the basics for a good while and uh, through the national team, I, uh, I got to know some people, and, and one of my good friends, Jonvar, we started like Mjölnir together, pretty much, yeah. uh, along with uh, some other uh, people as well. And he introduced me to MMA and grappling and, and those things. And, and you mentioned you're still using karate in, in your MMA, so can you tell more about that, how that works and, and what specifically is useful? Yeah, I'm, um, like I said, I did point sparring for a while and I did a lot of competitions and stuff like that and, and the ability to close distance fast mm -hmm. definitely helped me, you know, with some of my shots and like blitzing. Blitzing, blitzing is when you, when you cover a lot of distance quickly mm -hmm. with a, a strike, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, you come in with like maybe just one strike or two strikes and mm -hmm. but you cover a lot of distance mm -hmm. and it's like like that it's mm -hmm. called a blitz it's like a mm -hmm. you know when a yeah. when a bird is something like a hawk or something you mm -hmm. know comes down on a falcon it's a blitz you know just mm -hmm. like one one attack really powerful and, and quick um, so blitzing for sure uh, awareness of distance mm -hmm. um, different abilities to actually faint and uh, and to read the distance to you know it's different from boxing or kickboxing you know they they learn different style and it, it, and if you never had a karate guy that moves this way and that uses them tricks it's different you know mm -hmm. it's a, it's a different there's all kinds of little tricks and uh, and details that you that we learned um, that we were taught in karate and especially when you started doing kumite a lot um, that I don't think they, they emphasis too much on in, in boxing or, or kickboxing it helped me with my shot as well like shooting a double very very quickly mm. come in and it helped like I never wrapped my hands I think my mm. like my coach had, had us hit the makiwara mm -hmm. um, a lot and I think that, yeah it conditions your your hands and, and, and basically teaches you alignment so mm -hmm. your your hands are you know how to 
we know how to hit, you know, we know how to land a punch. Mm -hmm. um, saying that, of course, you can always break your hand and, mm -hmm. you know, somebody's moving and you're hitting a moving target and you never know, you know, everybody can break their hands, but it, I think it it helps. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's kicks, mm -hmm. you know, dexterity, uh, mobility in your, in your hips and um, with your kicks and the ability to ability to change from one kick to another mm -hmm. and, uh, and the ability to chain and maybe kicks with some strikes and mm -hmm. um, some trips as well that we use quite a bit in mm -hmm. karate, I still use. Nice. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm still fresh and new in the whole MMA game and I'm still figuring out what's what and how everything works but my impression is that some of the people who had uh, in a, uh, the karate background or taekwondo background, they they tend to do the bladed stance or at least kind of shift between it. Do you ever use that? Or because I didn't notice when you were fighting that you'd be bladed or sideways. Uh, yeah, um, I, I I used to do that a lot more. Mm -hmm. Now, like this 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 camp, I'm 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 working on some different things, but. Normally, I uh, would be bouncing back and forth. Right. Um, yeah, that's, that's especially when I started. I used to do a lot of that. Then you mix it up, and you want to learn different areas and stuff. And, and for different opponents, you use different uh, mm -hmm. skills. Mm -hmm. And and then some of it you you've done for a very long time. Uh, so it's good to maybe use time, inspiring to work on some other mm -hmm. other. So you probably didn't see me bounce a lot this yeah. uh, in yeah. these sparring sessions yeah. here in this camp, mm -hmm. uh, but I definitely you will see that in the fight. 